Hey there, uh, I am Henry, and I wanted to share my experience with you that happened in like uh, 35 minutes ago. I needed to wash my face and take medications because of disgust. Here's what's happening. Well, my friend used to watch a classic Ben 10 show just like me, and he got gifted a CD with a Ben 10 episode. And uh, long story short, he sent me a file through my computer and I opened it, but there was no video whatsoever. I tried opening it on another device, but the video wasn't there. And then something strange caught my eye, and the file he sent me was called a depressed Ben. I was confused, like, is that the actual name of the episode? And after so many different methods, I managed to get that episode in my hands. I pressed play, I was expecting a minute or two of the actual episode and then that epic classic intro, but uh, it wasn't there. Literally, the episode started right away. It started off with Ben walking through the forest. No dialogue or monologue, no background music, just him walking and the sound effects of his footsteps. And after some good 3 minutes of walking, he goes into his house. There was no one there. And on a split second, there was a text saying, leave now. I decided to ignore that, but uh, I was really concerned. Later, when he got into his room, he sat on the bed and looked out the window. And, after, and shortly after, he went to bed. The screen went black for a few seconds. And the next scene disturbed me. And it will haunt me for the rest of my life. The next scene portrayed Ben laying in the bed. He was staring at my soul with empty eyes that cried blood. I felt so uncomfortable. The bad part is that the camera zoomed into his eyes and I... And it was black and white. The whole scene was in black and white color. The strange part is, I couldn't really move. I tried turning off my computer but it didn't work. I couldn't move. Not even a single muscle. Later, the screen got to black. Just for a few seconds. But then... The next scene traumatized me. I felt disgusted. Ben with the same eyes, now smiling and staring at my soul. Saying some words I didn't even understand. As he was saying them, he was cutting his throat with a knife. I started sweating and I shut down my computer and went to wash my face and drink my medication. But the weird part is, I tried texting and calling my friends and family but to relieve the stress, but they, they weren't online, they, they didn't answer me. I went to go see my neighbor, but there was no one. The whole city was quiet. The late night parties and clubs were, aren't working. And I don't know what's happening. Uh, as I'm recording this, uh, I feel something like a needle cutting my throat. I'm feeling a little dizzy. I will continue continue this story tomorrow morning. This just then, for the last couple of months, there were reports of a missing person named Henry Connor. Police investigated his house only to find the whole house empty, and a room which we believe Henry's silhouette was full of blood, and a tape recording next to his bed. Police investigated the tape only to hear some strange words. After a few days, six members of the police team went missing.